HBO is coming out with a new series that they're uh, developing right now with the creators and showrunners of Game of Thrones. Now, what is that called? It's called Confederate, and it is the story, uh, revisionist history of if the South won the Civil War and slavery was still an institution. They say we've discussed Confederate for years, originally as a concept for a feature film, but our experience with Thrones has convinced us uh, n no one provides a bigger, better storytelling, storytelling canvas than HBO. There won't be dragons or White Walkers, but we are creating a world, and we couldn't imagine better partners in world building uh, than the people at HBO who have impressed us for a long time with their wit, their imagination, and their Scrabble playing skills. So Scrabble playing skills, people, people are kind of saying that the kinds of folks who would say, who talk about Scrabble playing skills, which is like the Englishest thing you could ever do. Um, are now in charge of like something that is like racially sensitive, like if slavery was still around in America. They can uh, continue to say that the series takes place in an alternate timeline where the southern states have successfully seceded from the union, giving rise to a nation in which slavery remains legal and has evolved into a modern institution. Uh, the story follows a broad swath of characters on both sides of the Mason-Dixon demilitarized zone. Freedom fighters, slave hunters, politicians, abolitionists, journalists, the, ex the executives of a slaveholding conglomerate, and the families of people in their thrall. So the question being, is this appropriate? There's a lot of reaction, like people, people like Laura Bradley saying, whoever, who the ever living fuck is this for? Is one approach. Another one said, HBO colon, people complain that there aren't enough black people in Game of Thrones. Well, what if we did a show where the slaveholding South won the Civil War? Um, and then another one is this morning, John Boyega, uh, who plays Finn in, <coughs> um, in the Star Wars movies, uh, accuses Game of Thrones of not being diverse. Later, Game of Thrones showrunners are making a show where slavery still exists. So where do you come down in this? Oh my gosh, I read this and thought, okay, like you said, there will not be any White Walkers, blah, 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 but there will be <coughs> Flogged African Americans, murdered African Americans. Yeah, <laughs> it's just sorry, guys. I have the worst allergies. It's horrible. It's like again, who is this for? I don't think so. It, who is it for? Is the is the is where the rubber meets the road on right. this? Right. They, they could. Okay. So WGN had a show called um, Underground. Mm -hmm. And that was and that was fantastic. And I think there's a way to do things. Yeah. But you're you you said it. A racially sensitive subject like slavery. Normally, when you have shows about the Confederacy or about the Deep South back in the day, you have all these other elements of the Civil War that, in addition to slavery. Yeah. Now, slavery being the 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 benchmark, the pillar of this show, it, it could be it could go right. re really bad. I'm not gonna. Really I'm bad. not gonna. Say, I can't say, and I don't think anyone can say that something that doesn't exist yet is bad. Right. So it, there's a development process. I am glad that this story uh, has gotten the kind of shareability that it has gotten, because these are the kinds of things that I hope to God that the Game of Thrones creators are thinking about. Now, Game of Thrones is one of the best shows ever made by most accounts, except for your friend who doesn't watch it because they pretend to be contrarian and cool and be like, I don't even watch that stuff, dragons are stupid. But if they watch it, they give it a chance. Um, this. Same show that everybody thinks is a fantastic show has had weird problems like rape. They have come under fire and many times it seems like it's too easy and they just do it because it seems like a traumatic situation to use like these weird sexual violence scenes when I'm sure a better idea could have been used in order to further the same kind of you know intention and storyline arc. So that is what makes me side with the people who are like, and I don't think it's because the show is not diverse that they can't do it. I think it's the they have used rape so willy nilly, something that serious and real. So the analog there is slavery, race relations in America. That's something so serious. So they have used serious things more flip flippantly than I think. Um, was merited at any given time, so that is where I that is where I come down on that. I, well, I, I think well, so if you watch Game of Thrones, I've, I'm not a huge Game of Thrones fan. I've probably seen like a couple of seasons, but if the writers use the same type of in your face, just um, no no 
no abandon kind of um, writing that Game of Thrones has where I mean they murder kids, people on any given you know, episode of Game of Thrones, five people die within the first five minutes. It's right. like while naked. Yeah, on it's just, it's very extreme. It's very intense. And when you have, like you said, something like slavery, my whole thought process was fine. Yes, I do think you have a point, Brett, that the, the these stories need to be told. I think that if it's done well, it could be very successful. It could be it could yeah. be a very eye-opening. However, my only fear is that it won't be done well or it will be or they'll they'll show I mean like I said slavery is 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 a major element of that time in history but now it's the pillar of this show so as an african american and I hope you and I'm sure some of you guys watching at home would agree that it's very hard to watch like when I was 10 my mom rented roots roots in the color purple mm-hmm. two two of the most um Transformative right. movies for not for anyone, but more, but for me, especially being African American, for me. Mm-hmm. So it's very hard to watch your people, and I and every time I say your people, I feel so like, but it's very hard to watch something you identify with, um, come unfold, I guess. In, in a way that's that makes you feel like wow, like that could have been me, or you, you feel so bad yeah. for these people. And if and if the people and if the people that are doing Game of Thrones are going to depict these stories in the way and write in the way that they write Game of Thrones, it's going to be a hard to watch. Right? There's a there's an alternative history show, Man in the High Tower, High Castle, Man in the High Castle, which is this, but if the Germans won the World War II, and that it's interesting. Um, that book that it's based on is terrible. It starts with a good idea and then they kind of match like what would happen. Okay, where does it go? The, the book doesn't go anywhere. It's really hard to, you have to have an idea satirically or and that's not exactly the right word, but like as a work of art, you need to find the right analogs and the right story that you're telling. It is. It would be fascinating to have a dinner conversation where you say like, what if the South won the war and then you kind of see like what businesses would prop, would prop up, like who would they ally with? But the what I keep coming back to is who is that for? Right. And and like you better get some like black folk to help you out. Absolutely, because it, you know <laughs> that great point, Brett. Because it would add insult to injury if you had a show about African American. Yeah, history with no African American, and I'm sure. I think, I'm sure I think it needs to be an equal partnership. Absolutely, because you know Benioff and Weiss just kind of sitting there going like, "What do we think? Oh my God, we have this storytelling capability and world creating of Game of Thrones." But I mean, what I would want is someone who would be like, "All right, we're sitting in a room. We all divide it up. We have like." People of different experiences and, and backgrounds saying, like, all right, you're assigned to be the person who comes up with like what a plantation owning slaveholder would do and how you think you'd plan out the next 150 years of your business if you were able to have slaves. And then have someone who is experienced, like, you know, I just like it, it would be better to have a diverse group of people working on this from the beginning. I would be more interested in someone who had created stuff that explores race more right. in a compelling way on their resume as creators. Um, I don't know, I, we'll see how it pans yeah, out. Yeah, and I think that, I mean, in order to have a, in order to tell a story and have the story be told effectively, you have to be truthful, especially when you're taking stuff from history. Like I always talk about Ryan Murphy, when Ryan, one of, one of the best seasons of American Horror Story for me, it was Coven, when New Orleans with the witches, because he drew from, Urban legend, really folklore that still exists today down there to tell these stories of like Madame Lalaurie and all these people from the past. He interjected them into the story, so it made it more it made it more interesting. Um, I think that you're all right. HBO has this huge power, storytelling power, and I think they can get this right. But it just has to be done so right to where they they have to handle this delicately yeah. and they have to handle this with kid gloves because if it's if it's to the left. And not in a good way, it could be tragic. Crazy. And people will take the social media and let you know how tragic it is. And then I don't think HBO wants that, especially on the successes of everything they have, divorce, Game of yeah, Thrones. Yeah, but they also have like a history of like taking a showrunner from one thing, giving them something else and it not being quite as good. Like they had um, they had uh, Milch who created Deadwood and then the next thing was John from Cincinnati, which was just kind of a train wreck. Right. So, People should um, stay in their lane. Yeah, peop- I don't know. It's just be careful. I know HBO will. I think some people are unfairly overreacting to say like this is going to be terrible when you can't know that. 
Um, but it is good to have them know how people are reacting <laughs> ahead of time. I, I could just see. Did you watch that new show about Slate Red? HBO was so sickening. Freaking loved it. Yeah. Like <laughs> it could be. It could be great. It could explore it, right? I don't know. We'll talk. We talk about show it. Show was the shit. We'll talk about it more. I hope everything HBO does is good, but I don't think everything HBO does is good. Um, all right. Give us your thoughts in the comment section. What do you think about this? And we'll see you next time on Pop Trigger.